Welcome to Black Quarterback Central. Let's get it going. Yo, if you don't know me, my name is Keith. I run Job to God. I'm kind of doing a rebranding. It's still Job to God. We're still moving into the Job to God phase. But I thought I'd change it up and uh, kind of change the direction of the channel. Uh, we're Black Quarterback Central. That's where we are now. Um, a Job to God production, nonetheless. Um, it's going to be a college spin. We had no, we had no uh, professional games this week. College football kicked off this week. And two of our biggest stars in the game happen to look like us right now. So we're going to talk about Bryce Young from Alabama. We're going to talk about Sanders from uh, Jackson State. Um, and if you don't know who Sanders is, he's very, he's very, he's Deion Sanders' son. Um, top recruit, um, first debut game, true freshman. Uh, coming out of Florida, I think. I think he was in Florida. No, Texas. Coming out of uh, coming out of Texas. Um, now I'm not I'm not sure how to pronounce his first name yet. So out of respect for him, I'm just gonna call him Sanders for the first for the first show. And then as we cover him throughout the season, um, I'll learn his name and I'll call him by his call him by his first name. But for this episode alone, his name is Sanders. That's what I'm referring to. If I'm if I refer to Dion, I'm just gonna say Prime. Um, so yeah, let's get into it, man. Black quarterback central college. Edition. So before we get into that, um, I want to address something that I've just been seeing. A lot still has something to do with black quarterbacks. But so, and excuse me, I got my hoodie on. Uh, it's, it's not looking good up there. So, so yeah. But um, I'm seeing a lot of articles about Cam Newton, and I saw an article. Now I'm not even going to link, but I saw an article yesterday that said that Cam Newton couldn't learn the playbook. And that Mac Jones, Mac Jones was showing uh, showing him the playbook, and Mac Jones was basically teaching Cam the playbook. I don't believe they're not one bit. Like if y'all gonna release Cam, just release Cam. But to throw all this propaganda out here, like Cam is just some idiot that all he did was run around. That's not true, and I will defend Cam. So if you see any of those articles that are complete BS, don't believe them. That that's not an indictment on Cam. It wasn't it was never that Cam never knew the playbook. Even in his career. It was never that he didn't know the playbook. It was just Cam was never accurate. That's what that was. It's, it's not that he didn't know the playbook. Cam just wasn't as accurate as he had needed to be his most of his career. That's what it was. It wasn't him being too dumb. It was Cam not being accurate enough. And I feel if his cam was vaccinated, he would still be on the Patriots. So let's let's not act like that's not a big thing. And I've seen that propaganda a lot. And I just wanted to address it. Um, cam, it's not that Cam didn't know the playbook, guys. The Patriot, the the Boston media is just awful. So shout out to Cam. Um, don't compromise yourself for nobody. Let's get into it. So Bryce Young, um, I have I have a friend. Shout out to Joshua Walker. Um, he coaches in SoCal, California. I don't know if he coaches in SoCal, California anymore, but he did. He did when he saw Bryce Young play, and he told me last year. And if I can find the statuses, I'll put them up. He said uh, you need to watch Alabama this year, and I was like Alabama, and I was like Alabama. Why do I need to watch Alabama? It's like they have a guy that I uh, that I coached against in high school. His name is Bryce Young. He he's gonna be on your series next year, and I was like. Okay, you know I already college. I don't, I don't cover college sports like that, but I will if something happens, right? And so um, I go into this season. I'm like, all right, true sophomore. Um, let's see what let's see what happens. He didn't disappoint me. First game on the national stage. Now, granted, he plays for Alabama, so you know that's just an NFL team, but you still got to do it. Like Alabama has. Alabama has a crazy run right now. They got three starting quarterbacks in the NFL right now. It's, it's amazing. They're, they're going to have four in the next couple of years because Bryce Young is going to go first overall to somebody. Um, so, yeah, 
He, the, now his numbers, 27 for 38, 344 yards, four touchdowns. First, first quarterback in Alabama history to go for four touchdowns in a, in a debut. He was dominant. It was, it, was, it was slow to start. It was slow to start. But when he got revved up, Miami had no chance. I, and I'm disappointed in Miami. You're in Southern Florida, and you can't recruit people? Why is it so hard for Miami to recruit? Like, you're in one of the best parts of the country. I don't understand why it's so hard to recruit. Alabama should not out-recruit out you. I, I don't understand that. Some, If somebody can tell me why, let me know, because I always, that, that's always confusing to me. You're in one of the biggest hot spots for football in the country, but you can't recruit. And everybody else around you recruits well. Florida State, um, uh, Florida, uh, I, I just, I just don't, I just don't know. But yeah, Bryce Young, amazing debut, amazing debut. Shout out, Young Bella. I'm for sure gonna be watching you play for the next three years. I can't wait for you to get to the NFL. Um, yeah, so um, that's that's really all I got for him because um, they was running away with it. And he never faced any adversity <laughs> through the through the game. So. Shout out to him. Yeah, and so we have Sanders. Now, his situation is a little different. Um, high recruit, coming out of Texas. Uh, actually, was going to go somewhere else. He was going to go somewhere else, but decided to go uh, play with his dad at Jackson State or get coached on his father at Jackson State because he thought that would give him a better chance to make, to make it to the NFL. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, but I do love that um, he went to an HBCU, and I might do a video about my HBCU watching experience. I might do a video about that because I don't watch HBCU football very much. I would love to because it's, you know I stay in St. Louis. There's no HBCUs here. I think Harris Stowe is the HBCU, but I'm not sure. Somebody um, fact check me on that. But yeah, I, I just I didn't expect the experience to be so great. Like the watching experience was so great, and. So the the football was decent. It was good. It can be better, but it's HBCU football. I'm not going to knock it for anything. It's still elite athletes doing elite athlete things, right? And so Sanders, they really should have won. It's, it's, this game really should have been twenty eight six. Every time they drove down the field, Sanders would fumble the ball. Just growing pains of a young quarterback. And then eventually, when when Dion when Prime finally let him throw it. Um, he was good, 18 for 24, with 221 yards. And he got better as the game got longer and longer. Now, granted, he's a young guy, so there's still things he needs to he needs to work on mechanically. And, you know, he's a young guy, you know. So I'm not going to give him too much. I'm not going to hit on him too hard like I would a professional. But um, this is his first college game. He came out there and looked good. They cut the fumbles down, cut the turnovers down. I'm not sure that's what, it's, what Prime is telling him. If he didn't fumble, they go in and score. That game is over in the fourth quarter because um, fam, you had nothing for them. Fam, you had nothing for them. Um, it was the final score was seven six, and fam, you couldn't even get in the field goal range. For Dion to be the greatest corner ever, you better have a good defense, and that's what he got. He got a good defense down there. In Jackson State, so Prom. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Prom has a good defense down there, and I expect nothing less from him. I expect nothing less, and I expect more players, more players to want to who want to get into coaching. I expect them to want to coach more, especially at these HBCUs. To want to coach more at these HBCUs, and the value of these HBCUs to go up because there's some good players down there. I saw some good players on the field. You can obviously tell these are good athletes. So, um, so yeah, the Sanders was, he was good. He was good. Um, I just expect him to get better and better each game. Hopefully, I can keep up with him and I can track his progress throughout his next four years. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult, especially with, I don't know, where you watch HBCU games at. So, if anybody knows where HBCU games is there a hub for it? Because if I got to pay for it, I'll pay for it. Um so let me know if there's a hub or there a website. Is there anything that I can just exclusively watch HBCU games at? Because I would love to get more into that. And hopefully start a series. Hopefully start an alternate series where I discover HBCU 
Wii U games. I would love that. So um, if anybody wants to help me out, hit me up in the DMs of either my Twitter, my um, <laughs> my Twitter, my YouTube, my Instagram. Hit me up and let me know if that's a thing. So um, that's really all I got for y'all. Um, really small week. Um, college football got underway. And I'm sure we'll add more college black quarterbacks if this thing gets rolling. If you guys know something I should watch, let me know in the comments. Um, just let me know if you want me to cover college football more. Um, I'm not a college football guy, but if anybody wants me to cover college football, I will, no problem. So just let me know. Um, we're getting this week started real, real good, y'all. So I'll see y'all next week. And next time I talk to y'all, we'll be talking about week one of the, week one of the NFL season. Can't wait. Peace. Happy Labor Day.